Hey there Pisces, this is Renee, welcome back. Pisces, this is the next 48 hours, what you can expect, what's coming forward, what is going on with Pisces the next 48 hours. Okay, I went ahead and drew the cards to go ahead and save some time so that the video doesn't run a long time. So um, we'll go ahead and get into it. What's going on for Pisces the next 48, right? So we have this this card here um, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and I feel like that's exactly what you're doing I feel like you're exploring your feelings Pisces and I feel like you're really social you're you're making these new connections okay and I feel like you know you're really socializing you're really getting out there but you're you're feeling very ambitious and fertile at the moment, right? You're looking to create something uh, because right now you're in your energy. You're in your energy with this high priestess, okay? And you're trying to find balance and stability here. You're setting your priorities. There may also be some unresolved feeling that feelings that you have something that's coming to light. You know, your intuition may be opening up there may be some kind of awakening happening for you but i feel like whatever this is i feel like you know you're making this attract these attractions work in your favor you're like i'm winning at all costs i'm you know using this unbridled ambition that i have to create these romantic interactions okay and pisces i feel like you know, be, you know, be careful because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like you're not looking for just one love. Okay. You're looking to have a good time. You're looking to just get out there and socialize. Okay. Um, but I do feel like while you're doing that, you're, you're being very ambitious. And but I feel like winning at all costs is kind of putting a strain on you, Pisces. That's what I'm getting. I feel like it's putting a strain on you, but you are in your power. You do have this yin card here, the number two. You also have the number 12. So one and two could be very significant. Um, also, the number three could be very significant, right? Um, but I feel like there's a change coming around for you. I feel like this is kind of like a tower moment or a judgment moment, right? There's a change in the wind for you. You know, you're you're kind of seeing things as starting to get boring. You know, you're you're seeing things as having a good time really doesn't matter as much as having that special someone. You know, maybe you've been to the point where you have kind of given up on love, but I don't feel like love has really given up on you. Okay, Pisces. Now, I do feel like there are some things from your past and there may be some things that you're going through at the present time that are binding you. And I'm really getting that these are sexual addictions that you're going through for some of you. Right. It's not going to resonate with all of you, of course, but it's going to be different for everyone. Um, I do feel like there is some kind of addiction here. And I feel like for some of you, this is sexual addiction. That's the reason why we have this winning at all costs uh, over here and being very ambitious, very outgoing. Um, but I, I feel like there's a lot of heartache underneath all that outgoing energy and that wanting to have um, these connections I feel like there's heartache there you know but I, I do feel like you're trying to build up your confidence you're trying to lift yourself up in a way to where you have the strength that you desire okay um, but I feel like there's this change in the wind where you are finally realizing that these toxic things that are in your life, it's time to remove them. It's time to let them go. It's time to release them. Okay? That's where I feel like this high priestess 
and the two of pentacles is coming through at because i feel like you're focusing more on yourself you're focusing on your recovery okay and i feel like that's exactly where where you're going um in the near future energy we have this life review uh archangel jeremel take inventory of your life and resolve to change and heal anything that is unbalanced so i i feel like that's kind of the position that you're in right now right or that's where you're going in the next 48 hours that's where it's leading you is to you know review everything and figure out what priorities you're making by you know the things that you're dealing with in your life and whatever it feels like it's unbalanced you know it's time to focus on feeling that balance filling that void right with this page of cups energy i feel like that's what you're doing i feel like you're you're looking for that new romantic connection that's going to fill that void. This may be something that you're creating, something that you're working on, or that you have willpower to make. Okay, You may be setting the intention to start manifesting this one particular love in your life. Okay, But I feel like you're looking for more stability. You are looking for more independence. Okay? Um, with this Nine of Pentacles card, this is feeling self-sufficient, uh, having some kind of financial gain, right? Um, but it can also mean that you're okay dealing with things on your own at the moment, okay? You're okay with, you know, having that independence, okay? You may be fine being single, so that you can heal, so that you can work on yourself, on healing this broken heart, right? So and I feel like there's a lot of things that you're going through at the moment. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards for Pisces, okay? Uh, give me a message for Pisces. What is this Three of Cups energy? Give me a message for this Three of Cups, please. The star. See, what did I say? Healing. You're working on healing. You're focusing more on yourself. You know, that's beautiful energy, Pisces. You're looking at feeling renewed, finding that inner clarity. You know, um, this can also mean that, you know, in a social group, you really like to be the spotlight which is totally Pisces, you know? When you're in a social setting, you love to be the spotlight. You love to be the center of attention. So that is totally Pisces, right? So tell me about this Empress card. Give me a message for the Empress, please. The Two of Swords, decisions, choices. Maybe it's time to compromise. Something could be a hard decision for you to make. Um, I feel like for some of you, this could be a pregnancy. You know, you're deciding if you want to keep this child or, you know, and I feel like it's a hard decision. It's not something that's going to come easy, right? Um, I also feel like with this Empress card, I feel like it's a choice and something that you want to create. You're like looking at the future ahead, looking at the decisions that you want to make, and you have choices in creating something, you know, some giving birth to new ideas and the choices that you make in creating those ideas, right? Tell me about this Five of Swords. Give me a message for this Five of Swords, please. Look at this, the Empress again. For real. For real. You are winning at all costs. You're like stuck in the Empress energy. <laughs> you are stuck in this Empress energy. This is crazy. So yeah, definitely. Definitely. You're, you're winning at all costs. 
you know, you have your victory because you are in this Empress energy for real, Pisces. People are finding you so attractive. You're getting a lot of attention, you know? And I feel like the ideas, the creativity is really opening up for you. You may be also manifesting like crazy. You have the you have two Empress cards, right? You have the magician. You have the high priestess. These are cards of manifestation, of creation, right? So this is beautiful energy, actually. Tell me about this devil card. Give me a message for the devil. What is this devil representing for Pisces? Yeah, look at this, the six of wands. Winning. Whatever this is that you're trying to overcome, Pisces, you're going to have success. You're going to have victory because you're putting your mind to it. You're putting your focus on making these changes. You like it, it feels like it's time. It feels like this change just feels natural. You know? Tell me about this Three of Swords energy. Give me a message for the Three of Swords, please. The judgment. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to move out of this heartbreak, this doubt, this, you know, grieving period, and you're ready to move out of your comfort zone into something new, you know, you're finding some kind of new purpose, something new to have faith in, right, you're creating something new, this is a creation, it may be also spiritual led, you know, you may be spiritually defining something in your life. Okay, tell me about the strength card. Give me a message for the strength. The emperor, look at this. We have the empress and the emperor. So definitely, and these are counterparts. This could be a match made in heaven here. You know, something divinely guided together. Okay. So, I, I feel like you are coming into your power. You know, you definitely have the willpower to create anything that you are wanting to manifest. The Emperor is also a master manifester. He's also a very good entrepreneur. And he's very strong, bold, and capable. So I feel like you very well could be taking on the energy right now. So you're very strong and standing in your power okay so there's something that's making you very powerful okay with the page of cups we have the nine of swords battling those demons right not backing down from your fears not letting your fears hold you back. Tell me about this magician. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's there's love coming your way. If this is a new love, Pisces, this is actually something that you really love. You know, something that you're putting in a lot of energy into. Something that brings you a lot of happiness and abundance. Right? But I feel like it's, and I feel like it's someone giving you their heart, okay? And this is near future energy, so it's something that may not be expected. Look what wanted to jump out. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles on top of the Nine of Pentacles, right? So this is Ten of Pentacles energy. This is abundance, happiness, new growth, you know, money coming in. You know, feeling very independent. This is also a new beginning. So, you know, um, I feel like whatever this is, this is a feeling of you not backing down. Not giving up. Okay? So, this is really a triumph for you. This is something that 
took a lot of willpower to create, but I feel like you're not backing down. You're going through all the mo emotions, especially when some of them may be hard choices, right? Give me an outcome for Pisces. Give me an outcome for Pisces, please. We have the Page of Wands. Wow, the Page of Swords. Two pages. And the Seven of Wands. So I definitely feel like if this is, you know, the pages are something new. You're just at the beginning of something, but you're taking actions. You know, you may be walking away from old energies, making these changes, taking these actions that are, you know, being more inspired. You know, with this Page of Wands energy, this could also be someone connecting with you on a deeper level, a more intelligent level. You know, um, someone who's very curious. Um, I feel like someone who will go into battle for you. Okay? Because there's some kind of fight. You know, there, there's someone who's defending something. Tell me more about this. Give me more messages for Pisces. Tell me more. What is this? Temperance and the Four of Wands. Okay, the Four of Wands wanted to come out in the reverse, but I'm feeling like I'm feeling like with this Four of Wands energy, this is you taking the higher ground, finding a new path. But having patience in a situation, even when you're going through tough times. You know, Pisces really wants to be the center of attention. So I feel like you're taking the higher ground, even if there's no celebration for you. Right? Even if there's no um, acknowledgement. Yeah, you, you're finding your happiness. You're becoming more accepting of yourself. You know? You're accepting the change. You're accepting the good fortune. This is exactly what we were talking about. You know? You're getting a lot of clarity. A change in the wind. The will of fortune. Change. Good fortune. A turning point. Right? So I, I feel like there's... There's a big change coming in for you, Pisces. You're changing your ways in some way, right? You're finding a new way to go about things. Give me some angel cards for Pisces. Message for Pisces, please. The next 48 hours. Okay, yeah, look at this. We have Ascension. Moving into your true self, rise above the darkness. The light is here. So you're expanding, you're growing. We also have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, uh, let's get some Moonology cards for Pisces. Let's get a Moonology card. For Pisces, please. Ooh. Okay, this one wanted to come out. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Yeah, so I feel like you're you're being protected. You have divine protection around you while you're going through this learning process, while you're going through this healing, this progression. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Uh, full moon in Libra, right? So 
And I, I feel like it's going to work out, Pisces. What this is that you're going through, these feelings, this life review, you know, reviewing maybe the things that you've been through and where you want to be at. Okay? Give me an angel number for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Give me a message for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please? Look at this. 666 reflection. Yeah. Looking back. You know? Reviewing the things. Reviewing your life. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where your inner shifts are needed. It's time for you to look at your beliefs. And ask, is this serving me or is it time for me to release this? Right? So look at the things that you need to release. And it also says reflect, refocus, and readjust. Okay? So your, affirm your affirmation. As I refocus on what serves my highest good, I feel myself shift into my highest self. Okay, so you might have a, you know, this shift of energy where you kind of feel where spirit is leading you to be, the person, the place, you know, where you're going to be set at, right? So Pisces, I hope this message receives you well. Uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time. And my beautiful Pisces, until your next reading, many blessings to you. I'll see you on the next one. Love and light.